Velvet. Let's go to your house and see. Yeah. Okay. Luffy. Luffy's alive? What's wrong? Well, that didn't break it. Next time you suspect an illusory art, test out your theory on yourself. You think we're all seeing an illusion? It's possible. It wouldn't be the first time. But an entire village? That shouldn't be possible. Shouldn't be, no. How do we approach this? Try to break it apart at the seams somehow? No. For now, we and our enemies share the same goal. Come on. Help me look for the Therian. Sure. I... think I'll stick with Velvet. I won't stop you. Keep a close eye on her. I don't think she's entirely right in the head at the moment. Yeah. My home. It hasn't changed a bit. We need to be careful, Velvet. Aizen thinks this could be a trap. You think Nico and everyone are being controlled? I don't know. It's just... You think it could be Melchior's doing. But even so... <sighs> Not going to work on me. You're insane. People can fight against pain, but... I won't be deceived by this. You'll open your wound! Sleep. Ever since that day. I found him at the shrine. Collapsed on the ground. His wounds healed, but he's never woken up. If he's still alive, that's all that matters. I'll find a way to wake you again, Lafi. I swear I will. We'll be together. I still have to thank you for this comb, after all. So, that's where Velvet's comb came from. Did Lord Artorius really try to sacrifice such a defenseless child? What's wrong, Lafayette? You don't look like your usual perky self. I'm... I'm okay. I'm just glad Velvet's alright. What? Your name is Lafayette too? <laughs> what a weird coincidence! Uh, yeah. Hey, sorry about all that, you guys. Don't worry about it. What are we going to do now? If it were me? I'd make Luffy set something he really likes for dinner tonight. He can handle soup. Maybe he'll notice the smell of your cooking and it'll wake him up. Yeah, maybe I should. Would you watch after him while I go by what I need? Of course. I am at your beck and call. Is there anything I can do to help too? Yes, please. I'll need you to be my taste tester. I wonder if they've located the Therian. Let's... just leave that to them. You're not curious? Of course I am. But for right now, I want to stay close to Velvet. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Something more important than finding the Therian? Yeah. My stomach is twisted, and I've got a chill up my spine. I'm really scared. Very well. I trust your feelings. We'll leave the Therian to Rokuro and Aizen, and stay with Velvet then. Thanks, Eleanor. Magilu, 
What will you do? Whatever I feel like. <sighs> I shouldn't have asked. Thanks anyway, Mogilu. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? In the end, whatever happens, happens. Wiser words never spoken, right? Alright, first I'm going to whip up my special quiche. And then I'll throw in tomato and egg soup. And some pudding. I didn't even know your face had smile muscles. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Velvet? I wanted to apologize to you for ages now. Apologize? What for? That business with Arthur. Back then, I said he seemed like a fraud. I know you took it pretty hard. But if he wasn't there three years ago, our village would have been destroyed. I'm sorry I doubted him. I didn't trust him then either. I only realized how amazing of a person he was when he saved all of our lives. <sighs> I'm ashamed of myself. All this time we've been feeling terrible, thinking we may have driven you to leave the village. Please, forgive us. That's not... I, I didn't... Where have you been these past three years? It must have been tough living on your own, without any family to help you. <sighs> Sorry, you don't have to talk about it if it hurts. But if you ever feel like talking, we're here for you. I know we can't make up for all the pain we put you through, but if there's anything we can do, just ask. And if you'd like, you're always welcome to come back. The whole village would welcome you with open arms. <laughs> Between the cold, the famine, and the demon blight, there were times I thought the world was done for. But, over the past three years, I've stopped worrying. I know we're overly reliant on Arthur and the Exorcists, but this village has changed. The Exorcists taught us that there are things the demons hate. We can't defeat them, but we can keep them away. It's peaceful now. Exorcists stop by on patrol every now and then. We haven't had a case of demon blight since... What happened to your sister was horrible. But you and Lafayette said should try to move on. Make the most of your lives. I hope he wakes up soon. I'm sure he will. Hey, could I get some eggs, milk, spinach, and tomatoes? And I'd love to know what cheese you'd recommend, too. You got it! And in celebration of your homecoming, I won't even charge. With you cooking up a feast like that, I'm sure Laffy Set will wake up straight away. Thanks. I really appreciate it. You're getting spinach? I can't really handle it myself. You'll never grow up strong if you don't eat your spinach, young lady. I've done just fine without it so far, thank you. <laughs> oh, if you insist, I'll leave it out just this once. Wow, Velvet. You must be special. Not many folks get to be friends with an exorcist. She's not, not my, my friend! friend. <laughs> the way you two bicker, I find that hard to believe. Oh yeah, do you have any prickle bore? Oh, I'm sorry to say that I'm out at the moment. That's fine, I'll hunt some up myself in the tranquil woods. Just like old times. Actually, there haven't been any prickle bores there lately. You should try the Morgana Woods instead. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for the tip. You don't like spinach, right, Eleanor? Well, you know, I just... All right, it's true, but keep that between us, okay? Velvet really seemed to be enjoying herself at the shop. Quite. And she can really pick out a nice balance of foods while making every gold count. She seems so cheerful and carefree. That's the real Velvet. I'm sure of it. Yes. An ordinary, dutiful, loving sister. I wish she could have stayed that way. She could have lived a happy life, surrounded by her friends. Just plain Velvet Crow, sister to Lord Artorius. Uh, and maybe not Lord Artorius, but just plain Arthur. A happy, ordinary life for an ordinary girl, with a kind family and supportive friends. Alrighty, to the Morgana... Woods to hunt some prickle boars. Yeah, 
Sure. We're looking for prickle boars. Keep your eyes on the thickets. We keep this up and who knows how many we'll bring home. Not 
hurt, are you? Okay, this should be enough. Mm. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I just feel a little sorry for them is all. I hear you. These prickle boars might have all been family. People can be so heartless. Yeah, I'd forgotten this feeling. But what can you do? At the end of the day, we have to eat just as much as they do. Yes, what can you do in this situation indeed? Luffy's waiting for us. We should run on home now. Luffy. Luffy. <laughs> 